Hello Gemini and welcome to your January 2022 video and Happy New Year to you. So Venus is in retrograde. Venus went retrograde on the 19th of December and Venus will stay in retrograde until the 29th of January. Now Venus retrograde rules over love. People from the past come back when it comes to relationship. Those exes, yes, they there. <laughs> they come back for everyone during a Venus retrograde as well as people from the past come into our lives once again. Watch your finances. Venus rules over love, luxury, beauty, money. So make sure that you don't overspend when it comes to beauty, when it comes to luxury. Okay, because it can encourage you to overspend a little. So balance those things within your life. And also when it comes to relationships. Be very, you know, in yourself when it comes to loving yourself, taking care of yourself, valuing your needs. A Venus retrograde always wants to teach us one thing. And it's a sense of self-worth. We all, as humanity, need to look at our sense of self-worth and what is of value to us. And when it comes to our relationships, having those same things be within our relationships. Now, this Venus retrograde is happening in your eighth house. The eighth house rules over things hidden. So secrets might come to light. It also rules over death, right? Things can come to an end, right? That's what the, the eighth house is. It's about death. It's about transformation. It's and when I say transformation, like one cycle can end and also, um, healing can come through like we, we might go through something in a relationship where this cycle comes to an end but we allow for healing and transformation to come through or it might come to a complete end if there's no wanting for healing to come through the eighth house rules over money too so like i said finances loans anything like that you've been taking venus retrograde will be bringing that to light and how you need to work through that intimacy connection to others where are you having blocks towards intimacy where are others having blocks towards intimacy when it comes to you so the eighth house is a deep house it rules over a lot it rules over where we go through these transformations through endings deaths in our lives as in like where something ends you know we can lose someone but we can like physically like they pass on and we can also go through experiences where we lose someone where they leave our lives but transformation can also happen where we might go through a change within a relationship that healing is allowed to come through where we both make a change within us this is all what's available to you with the eighth house and also sex and intimacy being more vulnerable and not only sex as in like the physical act of it but intimacy about sharing my innermost feelings Sometimes we don't share feelings, right? That might not be the place that we or the type of people that we are, but this Venus retrograde wants you to open up to talk about how you feel. Because when we talk about how we feel, the other person understands and we have communication going. And that's a lot about relationships. The new moon on the second happens also in this eighth house. A lot of wanting you to be open, vulnerable, intimacy, secrets come to light anything hidden must come to light in the eighth house because the eighth house rules over anything hidden it's a very deep house the eighth house it isn't just simple it rules over things that are in secret it rules over loans it rules over taxes it rules over you know our finances and partners finances this is where you might even look at your partner's finances or question your partner about their finances and what they earning and or you might be looking at partnering up with someone when it comes to business partnering up it is about connection where we partner up with others as well as intimacy vulnerability this is where you might need to release some hidden fears and doubts so that you can be more vulnerable the new moon gives you these new beginnings when it comes to also you might receive some income outside of yourself you know not income where you work for can be like loan or a loan or it could be taxes or a rebate something like that on the third we have mercury joining saturn in your ninth house this is great for learning information travel saturn once you put structure to it mercury has you thinking about travel and experiences wanting to Take the information you know and expand it to new heights. Teaching others. Ninth house rules over teaching. But putting order to the teaching and how you teach. That's the energy. Training others. Doing a course yourself. All the information, all the learning, all the knowledge, all the wisdom is in the ninth house. And that's where we receive wisdom. It's not just information. You know, it's about getting wisdom on it and having experience and expanding on what we know. 
this is a very spiritual time when it comes to that energy as well if you want to plan any trips do so before the 14th of january because by the 15th mercury is in retrograde and that means any trips we can have delays people from the past might re-enter our lives um, when it comes to planning trips delays we might miss appointments might miss flights might have all those hiccups there when it comes to planning things right we have miscommunication with others as well when we're trying to communicate things but this is great for what if you wanted to do something like there was a trip you wanted to take you might not decide to do it like it was like long ago and you planned it before you can complete it during the mercury retrograde don't just do it now during the mercury retrograde plan the trip but if you were planning prior you can complete it but be aware that sometimes there are some delays during a mercury retrograde and this gives you patience and tolerance when these little things happen on the 17th we have a full moon in your second house this is the house of income money support and value so a full moon might be helping you to release anything when it comes to your money like mm, maybe i can do this like this is a talent that i have it also can bring some new money in too from somewhere because the second house rules over income a full moon might want you to release any you know low self-worth issues any issues where you devalue yourself so that you can receive the abundance you truly deserve you might be thinking a lot about your money you might even want to make changes to your money if you've been working on something that to bring you extra money it can during this full moon happening in that second house so allow for that energy to come through look at your talents look at your skills because those can also earn you extra income if you don't have anything that's bringing in any extra income you can now like okay i have the skill of talent i guess i should release those doubts about it and get on with it so that i can earn what i want to earn on the 20th the sun moves into the ninth house expansion spiritual waking wisdom all of that energy travel experience beautiful energy on the 24th we have mars in the eighth house mars in the eighth house the eighth house once again rules over transformation so things coming you know with that they have to transform from one state to the other be it people situations with your life any doubts insecurities mars wants you to let go of that mars in the eighth house also can make you want to be more intimate especially physically with others because mars is a plant of sex as well as the eighth house rules over sex <laughs> so this can make you really want to be intimate during this time especially you might be motivated about your money you might be motivated about partnering up with someone when it comes to money you are motivated you're passionate you have the action you have the energy you want to take things to the next level you really want to connect as well you might be able to be more vulnerable with people share a side of of yourself with others so that they can connect to you in a deeper more intimate way which helps you right we're looking at emotional intimacy we're looking at physical intimacy we're looking at partnering up we're looking at your money as well that's the energy of that house thank you so much for watching do like and subscribe my website is linked down below if you would like to book a reading as well as a link for appreciation of these videos.